I used to be heavily depressed. I used to have very bad anxiety where I was so dependable on having somebody go with me everywhere because I did not like being alone. And um, I wouldn't come out of my room. I would literally just go to school, work, go back into my room, and it would be the same cycle over and over and over again. And um, God delivered me from that depression, that anxiety um, that I thought would never go away. I was suicidal for a good moment, um, and I could have easily taken my life away but somehow, some way, God was still in my life saying, no, daughter, I want you to keep leaning closer to me. I want you to seek me out. But I was really just trying to fill a temporary void that was in my heart that I was missing. I was missing a piece of my heart. And it wasn't uh, love from a man that's not even going to really love me. It was because I was missing Jesus in my life. And God doesn't want you to be part of the world of these the fleshful things and everything that happens in these clubs and you know y'all say one drink isn't gonna hurt but it truly does hurt it truly does because that one uh beer whatever you are drinking is still going to impair that vision those thoughts and those thoughts those lustful thoughts that are in your head are going to affect on what you do and even if you continue to drink and you say, oh, I'm gonna stop an hour before I leave because I'm gonna be sober then, that's not gonna work. I mean, he is going to look at you like he never knew you. So I would really take that and really listen to that because you really want the Lord to look at you and say, I don't know you, you did nothing for me, you didn't follow my commands. Are y'all really gonna be happy with that? Because I know I'm not because I want to go to heaven. I want to be in his kingdom and be right next to him instead of being in hell with my worst nightmares. Why would I want to do that when I can choose God now? I can do for him now while I have the chance because once you choose him, it's so much better and so much worth it because I would have never thought that it will be at this point in my life where I'm actually out here telling y'all about Jesus because I didn't even know Jesus myself but now I do and I would love for y'all to know the Jesus that I love and that he loves me if you love Jesus then you obey his command going into that club is not obeying his command going into that club is not obeying his command because he asks of you to be part of him not part of the world not of the fleshful world because you can say, I read my Bible every day, but you're clearly not reading your Bible every day if you're out here dressed the way you are, over here and letting guys lust after you, letting women lust after you, or you know, going into the clubs of hell. Because every single one of these clubs are hell because of what you are doing in them. Because we all know that you're not in there telling everybody about Jesus when you can be doing it right on the sidelines like we are telling about Jesus because we don't need to be in that club for them to hear us y'all can clearly hear us right y'all just need to get to know the Lord he is asking for you he is seeking for you he died on that cross for you he didn't die on that cross for you to continue to sin he did not die on the cross for you to go sleep with a thousand men he did not die on that cross for you to be gay lesbian trans whatever in that alphabet that there is he didn't die for you to go have an abortion because it is inconvenience for you. He died on that cross for your sins so that you do not do them again. He died for you to really, really love him and do for him. Don't make God's death just something that you brush off because it is a big thing. Every single time you are sinning, every single time you identify as gay queer whatever you want to identify you are nailing him back down on that cross you are putting him in those nails once again and, and you are okay with that look at this guy over here shaking his butt looking like a child doing that and he thinks that he was going to get accepted into heaven he will not he will go straight down to hell unless he repents he will go straight down into hell if he does not repent. He looks like a child doing that. And God does not like people like this because when he dies, when he dies, when he dies, God is going to...
going to look at what he did. God, God is everybody. going to ask him, what did you do God for me? Everybody. What did you do for me? And he's going to say, I shaked, I shaked my butt in front of one of your children. I shaked my butt to mock you. That is what God is going to look God, God loves you if you repent. God loves you if you repent. That is not true. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all our videos and share this one with a friend. Also, remember, you're welcome to join us on Fridays and Saturday nights in Houston on Washington Avenue.